Hello and welcome back to a uh, episode of Nine Gale. So it's been a while since I played this, and they just came out with their Realms Rebuilt update, which is supposed to be have a completely new campaign, upgrade system, basically a whole rebuilt system for this game. So that's what we're gonna be going into. Now I already created my character. It does look like they added some more customization options. I am running on champion difficulty at 25, just for video making purposes, because I don't want to just be struggle busting the entire time. We're going to be doing the rugged apparel equipment with a uh, charm of the mule, so that I can have higher carrying capacity at the start, because I feel like that's going to be a necessity. And I'm not really much on the stealth aspect of it. But let's get into this. This is my character that I built. I it's vague or remember what the customization looked like before and I think they're pretty pretty solid now. Tattoos are still missing and scars are still missing so they'll add those later. But as far as I can tell everything else is there. And it's got a weird ancestry mechanic. Let's see if I can go up here and show that real quick. Uh... There it is. It's all the way up here. Where you can like choose your lineage, and when you click on this inheritance tab, you can choose between your parents and your grandparents' like facial models and adjust it to make you look more like that person. So hey, let's get back down here to finalize. So I got all that down. Let's actually get into the game. See how the, much the campaign has changed from the... It's not really a campaign there was before, but a way to get you going. Uh, what is Caller Ember? Before time itself, the realms have existed. Born of curiosity, we opened the first gateway to our endless Feywild. The Fae have long since aided men in harnessing that which we live and breathe. Magic. Tolerance was known until your grasp extended reach. Greed, in the face of power, saw your world caught in ruin. And out flowed the pail, swallowing all in its path. Some fled its ever-spreading tongue, seeking refuge in Nightingale. Only to be severed from assistance as the pathway between realms collapsed. But ah, perhaps not all is lost. For Nightingale still stands, pushing forward towards progress and enlightenment, humanity's final beacon. Your path thither is winding and full of terror's nascent realm walker. Wilt thou succumb to fey lands beyond thy wit, or wilt thou endure, find the way homeward and rebuild? I will say if you haven't seen my channel, I have played this to completion when it originally came out with this old campaign system. So I'm curious how things have changed. I know there's new campaign, a new skill tree system, the items have been changed a bit, quite a few items got added. And I might as well state this now as well, as recording of 9-12-24, the game is on sale right now because of this update. I think it's 25% off. So if you're interested in it, I would. Now's a good time to get into it. All right, let's continue our journey.
Now you can play this in third person, first person last time. I prefer to stay in first person. Unless I'm uh, moving. Let my words steer your steps. We'll see how much uh, Puck has changed, because I think the guy's name is Puck. Uh, I will mention this for anyone that has played this game before. Uh, all the old characters basically got moved to the offline mode, so if you're looking for your old characters, you can move over to there. But if you're creating any new characters and playing online mode, you have to create a new character, basically. Which kind of sucks, but all the offline mode stuff is still there. All the old stuff is still in offline mode, but you'll still have to use that system because they said it won't be getting any more updates. But anyway, let's get back into this. Uh, I'll read this one real quick. Uh, Paris is lost. All communication with the city has ceased. The last missive received claimed a substance emerged from the Paris tr transient portal. Since then, only silence. Our work continues in the shadows of this news. The portal ever present while we study the artifacts brought back from the realms. However, uncertainty gnaws at us, and we are vigilant for anything untowards. Sita left on an expedition through the portal, but days earlier, with luck, she will have arrived safely to the warm embrace of Nightingale City. She should return soon, but by boat or by portal, I no longer know. I worry for her. Were we wrong to trust in the portals and the realms? For now, all I can do is wait. Alright, let's get into this. So we got some injury salves, and we got a health potion. Yeah, I want to actually put that in my use so I don't use this hunger potion just yet. And then this charm, I oh, right-clicking switches it. That's new. Uh, let's actually go into our inventory and equip this charm. Oh, I can apply it to one of my default. We'll apply it to the axe because before it used to take a while to actually increase the axe's uh, level. So that'll increase our weight capacity. This is a pretty. Oh, I'm being attacked. Alright, we'll have to. We'll, we'll complete the tutorial and then check out the whole progression system. Oh, no. With a wonder you lost in our Feywilds. Show haste, human. Looks like they had challenges for this. I don't remember challenges being a thing before. Oh, back up there, buddy. Oh, he one shot at my health bar. I mean, I know I, I didn't think it'd kick in at the tutorial. Thought that kick in later, but all right. I guess selecting that difficulty kicked it into the tutorial as well. That's my bad. Did you do a death item system? Like all your stuff used to stay, but they might have changed that. Let's actually check our inventory real quick. Yeah, it looks like they changed that. So you keep all your items even after you die. Before it would just leave a uh, chest at the ground and you'd have to go hunt that down and pick it up. Or it despawned. Quickly, 
before those bound fiends sniff out your despair. Come here, Essence. Essence is your primary currency for building and crafting stuff. At least that's how it used to Shadows be. Shadows abound, yet like a fire's final embers, you refuse to be snuffed out. I come with an offer to guide you to a safer realm and rebuke death, unlike so many of your kin. Oh, under this mask, you wonder. I am Puck. Robin to some. Oberon's merry wanderer of the night. The last furtive fay to grace your kind. Now, take this blood-stained card that you might travel swiftly to the realm of abeyance. Amosit. Across the divide, greater gifts await. Partnerships with we Fay afford many wonders yet unseen. Hurry yonder toward portal and apparatus, so you, bare child of Earth, might abscond this nightmare. Evidence is your basic hometown realm. That's where you'll build your first base. Fly, Realm Walker. The fiends have caught your despairing stench. Realm Walker, your path forward is winding and full of terrors. Save yourself. Survive the realms. And rebuild all that has been lost. New Dawn. Neither brains nor brawn. Pulling you through that portal, I spared you a dismal death by bound hands. Count thyself among the fortunate few who managed to flee the foul pale. Nightingale still stands. But Earth teeters on the brink, and these wilds are far from hospitable. Sequestered so, and struck by woe, begs the question, Wilt thou be a survivor? Find your bearings and acquaint yourself with this realm. Long has it been left in limbo, not unlike you. Though this dismal landscape bears few reminders of its esteemed past, it need not remain so. One final card I give to thee. Play it yonder, at the center of this ancient crossway, and lift the veil of darkness to usher in a new dawn. Okay, you're actually done talking. I wonder what minor realm will actually start with. I started with the woodland one last time. Place card to remove all minor cards from affecting the realm. Uh, oh, I'm actually supposed to use the cleansing one. Okay. made a difference. Quite the mechanism, indeed. But you needn't fret over the lofty particulars just yet. More immediate concerns are at hand. The realm you've now cleansed was once the center of the Empyrean network. Long ago, it allowed lesser fay and fleshlings to travel the wilds with ease and accuracy. 
Though the path onward is presently dormant, it did not meet the same ruinous fate as your human-made network. There is yet a way to reignite these portals. And, once thou hast proven thyself ready, I shall lead thee to it. One of my promised gifts should help your cause. A hermetic guidebook and pocket watch, purloined off the corpse of a realm walker. Keep these like close companions as you steal yourself. There is much to do before thy survival is assured. Okay. Oh, we already found our wooden axe. Let's go find a hunting knife, a mining pick, and an immolation. Okay, so it does look like it starts you on the wooden lands. It definitely starts you not in a random location anymore. Before it just pop you anywhere onto this world. Actually, no, you didn't actually come to this world first. You ran through, like, all three of the main realms. So this is definitely a change up from the start. Uh, nope, there we go. Alright. So let's go to our progression menu and look at this. So they went with the basic tree system now instead of the uh, very confusing you don't get a uh, guidebook system. Before you'd have to click on the guidebook, find out what you needed to craft the item, build those two items, and then go back and forth from the guidebook. Now it looks like they had a pretty simple progression system to balance yourself on that. But we got our hunting knife. Because before you had to craft all this stuff. Get some food because we're definitely going to need food. This does have a uh, hunger system. Not sure if they added a thirst system yet. Now we need to find our mining pick. Which looks like it's just down this trail. So you don't have to craft those at your start. I might as well go to the peace th station to see that. So, so it tells you what you need to build to actually craft these things. So that's that's a lot nicer than the whole guidebook switching around type of deal. Now the immolation. I don't think they'd give you a gun right at the start. Oh, it's a quest log. In which you can, oh no, it's a scroll. In which you can be applied to the main hand melee tool from your inventory. Uh, launching a ball of fire that detonates on the impact dealing fire damage. I would much rather apply that to the, uh, the hunting knife. So we'll enchant that. Okay, so I charge it. And I get to shoot it. It takes us. Oh, I hit that deer down there. Uh, before, it would severely reduce the durability of whatever weapon you had it on. But it doesn't look like the magic is reducing the durability anymore. On charging it makes it a bigger projectile. That's really cool. Alright, but unlock the estate cairn to establish a base. Uh, final segment of potential allies, complete encounter, and fey runes. So it looks like there's a pre-setup area over here. Okay, that didn't work so well.
Get back here. Do I destroy this? Oh, I have to destroy this thing. Okay. It has a lot of health. Oh, he hit. Oh, he one shotted my health bar there. D damn. Maybe I shouldn't have chose this difficulty start. I didn't think they start me off with doing this stuff right now. So it does look like it's something does spawn for a chest side. Uh, State Karn. Oh, we can learn that for free. I just had to go to my inventory to do that. Then we'll need to gather materials. Press B for the guidebook. Track that on the side. We'll have to go collect those materials to build that. We'll deal with that thing later once we start making ourselves some better armor. Since I am not ready to deal with the uh, enemies right now. The bound. It does look like one of my quests is to defeat the bound attack in the settlement. Kind of sucks. It seems the fireball, from what I saw, was it doesn't do damage if it hits a target. Only does damage if it hits the ground near a target, which that's a definite downside. That's something that needs to be a targeted thing. And unless they changed it, you don't want to be outside during the nighttime. Because the nighttime, the bound just will spawn anywhere. Looks like this thing got its health back. Looks like we do have a companion stuck behind that door that we're gonna have to get through. Uh, fall damage a thing? No, not at that height it's not. He hits... Yeah, I'm gonna have to armor up here. I can't take that down at this difficulty. That was my bad. Definitely should have chosen something this high right at the get go. We'll have to come back to that one later. Yeah, because I need a repair station. I mean, before you used your essence to repair stuff. Okay, it looks like repairing with the essence that you get is still the same. But yeah, before we go tackle that area. Which, yeah, it doesn't look like I lose my inventory when I die anymore, so they changed that from the original. Looks like my armor is pretty degraded, though. Oh, what are you? I see you back there. Oh, it's a torch? Uh, let's not waste that torch. I don't remember torches being a thing before. Uh, we do need some more rocks here. Uh, 
Uh, two more rocks will get us our stone blocks. Then we'll need to chop down some trees, get a wood bundle. Why you chop down a tree? Should disintegrate. Yeah. So that's that's still kept the same. And the rocks it's asked for, it used to be down by the water. If you use the uh, hunting knife, you actually get more resources out of an animal than if you try chopping it with anything else. It's really annoying that the torch doesn't go away there. But anyway, let's go head down and try to get us some rocks. Because we're not ready to take that down, and that looks like it has our first recruitable. So these are the piles of rocks that it's asking for. You don't get them from the big rocks for some strange reason. Let's do top of the waterfall. The top of the waterfall seems like a good place to set up a base. Then we'll get ourselves geared up and then go tackle that area. Wait, is this? This is. This is the same bot same place I built my base when I played this game so long ago. It looks like it's the same starting world. Because last time I started this game, I built my structure on that rock over there. Or this might be a little bit different. Not 100% sure. But anyway, like I said, we'll build our starting base. Uh, that was like a good clearing over there. But I do like the flat rock structure over there. So that's where I'd actually like to start my base. Being soaked by rain and waiting into water reduces your stamina regeneration. Okay, if there's no easy way to get up here, I might be changing my thought process on building this structure. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any easy way to get up here. I'm sure when I eventually get a rock pick, uh, I'll be able to get up there, but right now I can't. So I might be a base at a later time. So yeah, we're gonna make our base on top of that waterfall over there. Does graveyard have any, no, it doesn't look like the graveyard had anything. I think around, right over here to the, the other side of the waterfall would probably be a good section to build on. I mean, it's not as flat as I was like, but I feel like I'd be searching forever to find a nice chunk of flat ground. That is at the top of that rock. Yeah, 
Uh, what's this thing? Cease publication of the article hopes truth immediately after viewing the pages those criminally late arrival on my desk have been noted. I cannot get conscience allowed to reach the general public. What matters propelled you to put such ink to paper? The sh shirk the academy duty to research the trust in the belligerent falsehood of Greek mythos. To curse Pandora as a catalyst of for hope rather than praise her. By God, Shaw is debased. If I had any sense, I should banish you from the archives, but... Meet me here nonetheless. If your honest desire is to share the truth of hope, it's time you learn its origins. I'll have the librarian scour the proper materials for you. There are texts you should see in good faith. Dr. Marion Griffiths. Oh, there's the uh, ethereal deer. I never figured out how to actually fight that guy in the base game. But I think... Right now, that looks like a good place to build my base on top of that rock. It's pretty much in the center of this island, and it seems like he's got decent habitation around. I suppose I can get rid of this, can I? No, I cannot. But this would be a good start. So let's get to crafting however the heck we craft right now. Guessing to craft, we need to make ourselves a hammer, if I remember right. I get to learn that, but how do I actually have, how do I actually craft things? I could have swore it was a hammer you used, but I could be wrong on that. Got our axe. There's a pick. Alright, journal, how do I build stuff for a guidebook? Oh, you go into your journal to place stuff. Okay. Uh, we'll put you... Can I put you on this little crappy rock? Get you out of my way a bit? Nah, it doesn't look like it. So we'll just put you uh, on the side here. All right, our journal's done. All right, then we build, need to build stuff. I'll probably make a cut here and build a little base before we move on. So uh, we'll we'll be back here. We'll be back in a sec. Okay, we're back. So, I built a tiny little shelter here. Got some of my crafting things uh, built up in my progression system. 
Uh, one thing it did take me a tiny bit to look for is the sewing bench was in the clothing section, not in the tool section. So, if you don't see that, that's where that is. Uh, other than that, I crafted my... This is a Twitch drop armor that they uh, give you for doing the Twitch drop stuff, if you're wondering what that is. But other than that, I crafted the level 20 uh, set gear items, as well as a s simple sling bow with uh, explosive uh, bolts. So we shall go continue on to our quest line and get that done with, and so we can progress our campaign. Uh, one slight thing I have noticed, and I'm not sure why, but bedrolls are not in the game anymore, at least that I can find. So I don't know how you're supposed to sleep unless you're supposed to find them. But anyway, let's go, uh, let's go try to save the settlement here. Yeah, it is night. It is getting nighttime, so the bound are coming out, which definitely sucks. And I don't think going near my base is gonna save me that much. Oh no, it looks like they back off. But yeah, I'm not seeing a way to skip the day and night cycle anymore without the bed rolls. I think it hit from this guy at least. Or he one shot me with my uh, 11 armor. Oh, that guy one shot me though. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have came in on such a high difficulty setting. Should have just came in with this, the low one. Yeah, so the emblem's still here, but it doesn't look like I lose my stuff when I die anymore. There's some wolves in here. Wonderful. Alright, let's head back down towards our quest line though. Now we're dealt dealt with that. I want to skip to daytime, but there's no bedrolls, which is huge, 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 huge oversight. Like, at least I can't find them. I can't find them in the structure progression tab, because I figured they'd be in the tile set or somewhere. But I'm not seeing them as a craftable thing, and when I search the guidebook for rested... I get a codex entry, but if I go to bedroll, I get no entries at all. Which is kind of vexing. Yeah, 
Yeah, the only thing I need to think of is I have to complete this uh, one place to get that done. But it sucks that I kind of have to wait till daytime. I know I basically did this myself by selecting a higher difficulty. I should have done something like that in a survival type game. Yeah, I'm wondering if I'm not getting like healed as fast because I'm not inside a sheltered area. So let's actually go back here and sit down for and uh, just wait for a second to see if it pops me into a sheltered area again. So I am sheltered, but the health regen is very, very slow. I don't have any healing salves. Guess I'll take it a long way around and head the water path. How's oh, a baby deer hopping in there? Yeah, we'll uh, head back down there. There'll be a bed roll at one of these tents. Oh, I took some fall damage there, damn it. I think I'll cut this here until this nighttime thing is going over since I can't pass it. So we'll be back in a sec. Alright, so we're back at this little settlement thing. We're going to give this another shot. It's still nighttime. But, yeah, here goes nothing. Okay, so it looks like the grenade bolt does like a hard damage. That one's dealt with. Oh, if you hold E, by the way, uh, you pick up multiples.
Oh, it's a grenade. Oh, what? Killed me. What was that about? Yeah, I gotta wait till daytime, so... Yeah, damn it. Okay, we're back. So, what I did is I made some health potions because dumb dumb me did decide to make health potions for a week. Now I should be able to heal after I take a crap ton of damage. I just took all that explosive damage. I just had to come in here with some health potions. That was my big whoops. <laughs> right, let's collect all this and we saved Lizzy. That was our main quest. Alright, let's talk to her. Well, let's talk to Lizzy. Uh, we'll recruit you, Lizzy. Oh, they added more stuff that you can do. Why don't you follow me for now? Oh, they added a lot. You can tell them to do specific things instead of just... Because before it used to be you give them an equipment and they'll go do what the equipment was. But now you can go assign them to do specific resource farming. That's really nice. I'm assuming Sassy's going to be down here. So let's head on down. Sassy used to be like the main quest start starting person. I'm wondering if that's the same. Guessing she's down there. She's now we'll uh, find out what what else we, goodies that we have down here. Yeah, it looks like she's down here. 
Uh, you can only have one survivor at a time. All right, let's talk to Will Mean Assassin. Was that you putting into the incessant commotion upstairs? I suspected that we might be the only fine souls in this realm, but your appearance is most welcome surprise indeed. Who might you be besides the savior of our little band? Something of a wanderer, I suppose, here and on Earth. Quite refreshing to meet such an open book, surely filled with tales worth telling. There are a great many new faces in the realms as of late, with a great many stories to tell. Uh, collecting such stories is my trade, you see. Well, let me just ask, uh, columnist of Nightingale Finest Paper, the Sunday Courier, overjoyed to make your acquaintance. Now, if you're in need of more material services, nourishment, equipment, protection, I'm certain my companion here can provide. We've always time for new recruits. Heard any rumors lately? Always something particular you're looking for. You know anyone who can lead me to Nightingale. Perhaps it seems there are a great many of your fellow realm walkers about, diving from their Nightingale headquarters to realms as near as Sylvan's Cradle. I met one Aurelio Vizio Ortega as I passed through, and for a man of his years to survive the profession, he must have some level of skill or luck. Of course, I've no doubt the man was mad, gold sickness. It had, it had he, it had he and his traveling companions so enraptured that they dismissed my polite inquiries outright. That's all for now. So we heard the rumors that we need to get wisdom from Grammy Turner, which is over there. Let's talk to the merchant here, though, real quick. Uh, that's expensive. I think simple is the next level of items. Uh, I could buy resources from him. Potions, food. Looks like injury salve is basically the best one he's selling. I'll buy that since that seems to be an upgraded version of it. Whatever that material is, I don't. Doesn't look like a mine. It's not coming up with a mining symbol. Oh, I already have that. Oh, I could have just unlocked it for free? Something you learn. Also a bedroll. Why can't I craft these yet? I didn't see him selling one either. Looks like I'll have to come here to craft them. Let's uh, talk to Turner though. Groans quietly. Every time I take a gander, another one is lurking about. If I didn't know better, I ought to think you earth lovers are hatching down here. Probably sorry, I didn't want you to trespass on your home. I'm not in the habit of staying where I'm unwanted. And who made you king of this tomb? My discontent is no one's problem but my own. Twas not my wish to imply otherwise. You can forgive the lack of tact, eh? I've seen more folks these last weeks than the past two decades combined. Truth is, I claim no finder rights over this hovel. You lot can tear it down for all I care. Soon enough, I'll be back in the wilds embrace. Do you have any wisdom to share with an earth lover like me? Not the kind you want, I reckon. I've seen plenty of moonstruck blokes stuffed with powder and steel meet their ends without catching even a whiff of adventure. Before you go chasing for trouble, you ought to have mastered the basics. Be glad to, I'll be glad for whatever advice you can provide. Hmm. Have you even cooked a proper meal yet? Not the finery dinners from your sorceries around here. What you find is what will do. You can fill your guts in the same grub day in, day out, but if you plan on staying a chance against the beast and the bound, a variety will make you stronger. Go on, these recipes and my campfire are yours to use. Some warm food will do you good before you hit the road. Suppose it can't hurt. 
Now, if this sort of exchange has become a habit, we might as well be made proper acquaintances. Grand Return is the name. I wish you luck on your travels, Walker. I'll be around if you still have need of me. Uh, what do you want, Puck? Your tenacity overrules the gusts of fate, and this fay you have pleased. With shelter overhead and tool in hand, you've proven yourself ready. Now attend me. Built over the heart of this realm lies a site of power. Long ago, it was named and sealed by your kind. But longer still, it housed the knowledge of the Empyrean Network. What awaits is no simple task. A monument of such magic attracts the weak like flies to sweetest honey. And the realm's heart has ways of making lambs into lions. Take these elixirs, seek the site of power, and overcome whatever guardians await within. Then thou shalt obtain the final key to lands unknown. Uh, so he wants us to complete... Or, no, he wants us to enter the Abyss of Sight of Power. First, this guy wants us to make roasted berries as, like, our side quest thing. But we'll do that later. We, uh... Yeah, we claimed this area, which is good. Get these mushrooms. Get these berries, too. I'm sure I'll need all, both of them. Or is that actually exactly what I needed? Exactly what I needed. So let's make a roasted berry real quick. Get this side quest out of the way. that in my inventory I should be able to or not there's a the roasted berry assume that uh, it wants us to eat a mixed plant Doesn't look like I can make mixed plants yet. That's the next hearty meal thing. But I think this is a good stopping point for us now. We're at almost an hour. And we basically did two things. We completed the tutorial mission, which wasn't really a mission. And we uh, acquired this little sanctuary right here with a bedroll that I still can't build yet. Even the stuff that I can buy from him. But anyway... This was Ninegale's Realm Rebuilt. They have changed the beginning, because before you hop through each of the uh, realms to see what they were, and then moved on to, like, this minor forest realm. I, the word of advice, don't start on a high difficulty. Just start on the base difficulty and go up from there. Because you can always change your home base and your starting world later on in the game. At least you used to be able to. I'm pretty sure you can still do that now. But anyway, like I said, uh, that'll be it for this one. For Nightingale's Realms Reborn. I'll have to see how much has changed from the original. And see if there's actually like a pretty solid campaign. But right now we're going to need to probably gear up some more. And go clear out one of these major dungeons. Uh, not the respite, but it's generally one of these towers. There's also the treasure thing. I'll have to go look at those because those are new. Those weren't a thing before. Uh, let's see. Can I find what he was telling me to... That's the Burrow of Edelance, and of course a wolf is attacking me while I'm trying to look for stuff. Because he wants the Abbey in sight of power. That's the Battle of Insolent. The Bunker Infestation. Uh, the Abbey in sight of power is over there by where my base is. So we'll uh, do a quick bash out of my respite. 
I'm glad because before my ri and it looks like it's over that way. So on the next episode we have, we'll uh, we'll head over there and complete that mission. I'll probably do some more base building in between episodes and get some more resources craft, but that'll be our main goal. But yeah, that'll be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, later, everybody.